All right, I'm going to do a short little video on the two fans on the radiator for a 2004 Miata NB. So this is technically an NB2. I don't know how different the relays are on NB1s, but I'm going to show you the NB2 situation. So the plan is, is I'm going to manually wire switch in the cab to run both fans to override. That way I don't have to have the AC pump running to engage my fans. So you're going to have two relays here in the front behind the driver's side headlight. One of these is going to be for the AC clutch and the other one's going to be for the AC fan. Now, I forgot which order I took these off on, but I'm going to show you the wire coloring. So the AC fan, as I've written there, AC fan is going to be the one with these color wires. It looks like a green black and a red black. The clutch is considerably darker. So the clutch is the darker wires. So the lighter wires is going to be the AC fan. And all you have to do is, I believe, is ground the blue. I think the blue is the ground to fire the AC fan. And now I'm going to show you the other main cooling fan, which is the bigger one. That one over here on the passenger side of the engine bay, you have your fuse box. And then there's another little set of relays that hides down in here. So imagine this box. Well, actually, it's really hard to do because the wires are so short. But there's your fuse box. It's going to be the left buried down under in the fender. And it's going to look like this ugly-ass metal bracket with three relays attached to it. So it looks like this. The far left one is that large fan. And to test it, I simply hooked up a wire here. Let me see here. Bam, down in the bottom left socket if you have it flipped like I do. So it's going to be the red wire. So I literally just took a wire with an inline fuse because I'm no genius. So I have a, actually have a fuse in line in this testing wire. And then literally, I think I still have the key on. I could probably show you this. So now if I ground this wire, the fan kicks off. So, I'm going to do the same process with both the AC fan and the main cooling fan. That way I can have a manual fan override. Because it gets 115 Fahrenheit here for like three weeks of the year. So, that's the plan. 